Hi all. In this video, let's learn about pass by value and pass by reference in JavaScript with an example. So let's check this. So remember all the primitive data types are pass by value. What all the primitive data types we have or string number, Boolean, undefined number, all these are the primitive data types. So whenever we pass these types, these will, um, these will follow pass by value. So let's take an example and uh, we can understand more. So I have taken a function called square and I take an X as a parameter and we are manipulating, I mean, uh, multiplying X with X and returning that X. So we have a value Y 10 and we are calling the square function with Y. It means we are passing the value of Y to X. So now X contains 10. Here X will be containing 10. So here what happens, we are sending a copy because as they, these are primitive data types, we are passing the value of Y to X so that this is one copy and this is the other copy. It's like remember this in this way. If you have any photocopy and if you Xerox that or if you duplicate that, you will be having two copies, the original, the original one and the duplicated one. So in that case, this is a original one and you are uh, passing the copied value to the X. So now X will be, uh, this 10 value would be manipulated by X and X is returning that manipulated value. That would be stored in the result. So now in the result, you'd be having 100 because you have multiplied 10 with 10. So it results 100 and you are uh, returning back that in result variable. So whereas after the function call also, the value of Y would be the same because we have, it, it was not, uh, it's just past the value of Y and uh, the X is separate copy. If you have two uh, copies, if you uh, remove or uh, destroy the duplicate copy also, the original one would be in the same way. It won't be destroyed and the value can't be changed in the original one. This is about the pass by value. So uh, to show that in uh, an uh, example of diagram, so here the Y consists of 10. So Y passed the value to the X. So X consists of 10. So it has shared the, or copied, uh, sent the copy of value to X. Y has shared the value of 10 to X. So it, it, it has its own local scope where the X can work on its own copy. And after the function call, or after the manipulation, Y contains the same 10 value. It doesn't change, but the X value can be changed. It doesn't impact. So this is a pass by value. So now coming to the pass by reference. So let's see that with this example. So if I have an object, so the object would be uh, something like this in the heap memory. It has uh, some properties and uh, values where this hash one, two, three would be the reference. It's like an address of this object. So if this dog object has this object, so it means in this dog, we will be keeping the reference of this object. So now the dog would be pointing to this, the same reference, the pass by reference means we will be passing the reference. It means the address, the same address would be passed to the D. So now D also would be pointing to the same object, which is present in the heap memory. It means it has the same address. So if any change D does to this address manipulated object, the same would be reflected back to the dog. It means there won't be any uh, copy. So the same direct object would be manipulated by dog or D. If D adds any of the property, and if we print dog, you'll be getting the same property as well. So let's see that with an example. So, uh, and all the pass by reference values or reference objects. So like objects, arrays, functions, all these things would be following the pass by reference method. Okay, so now let's, uh, I will be commenting out this. I will uncomment this, yeah. I have an uh, object dog where uh, there are two properties, name and color. So now uh, before the function call, I mean, uh, I'm trying to print the dog object. So we'll get this because we have not yet called the function. So now I'm trying to call an animal function and I'm passing the reference. It means the address as we have seen in the diagram earlier. We are not passing this object directly. We are passing the reference of this object. So now in the D you will be having the address. Like it consists of one, two, three, four, five address. Here also you have passed the same address. One, two, three, four, five. You have passing this address. 
so now we have passed the reference to d now d you are trying to add one more property size so now if you print after the function call if you print the dog object you will be getting one more property added to this so let's check that so this is because you have directly passed the reference so what all the changes this d function does on this object that would be directly impacted to the dog object as well because both these are pointing to the same reference so that's the reason so let's check that in the browser so if you see y value is 10 and after the function call it is 100 this is about pass by value coming to the pass by reference so before the function call you have only two or two properties after the function call we are trying to add one more property size is equal to large so that's the reason once you have uh, added the size large property and if you print the dog object you are getting the three objects in this because it was directly manipulated there so this is about pass by reference so we have something like uh, checking the equality so let's see this so if you have a value as 4 and b value as 2 into 4 so if you do a triple equal to it means the values are true then you will be getting the two values so this is about the primitive data type it is so simple so coming to the pass by reference so to check the e equality for the references so p1 has an object array object this is an array so array is also an object in javascript so it has some address so p1 is pointing to some address in which its value is name and p2 is also pointing to some address in which its value is name so if you do an equality check for p1 and p2 the references are different p1 is pointing to some other reference and p2 is pointing to some other address in sense p1 would having some other address like uh, it would be like star hash one two three and uh, the p2 will be having some other address like two three four so that's the reason i mean uh, the references if you try to equate the references we will be getting that as a false because even though they are uh, having the same values they are pointing to different references so that's the reason if you do any equality check we'll be getting the false coming to here the third line so i'm i'm passing the copying the reference to the p3 it means now i'm passing hash one two three now in in p3 also you will be having the same reference now if you check the in equality for p1 and p3 will be getting true because there are both p1 and p3 are pointing to the same reference will be getting as true so this is about pass by value pass by reference and checking the equality so hope you understand the video thanks for watching